There is much in this world that we cannot see with our own eyes. To help us, we use devices that magnify the objects, which allow our eyes to see more. There are many different types of devices, such as a hand lens or a magnifying glass. A dissecting scope, which will give us a 3D image of an object when illuminated with light. Here you can see this red mite on top of those bees. This is a compound microscope. We will use these to help us see individual cells. The compound microscope has three different magnification levels, which will produce 2D flat images. They help us see parts of a cell, such as chromosomes, nuclei, This is a scanning electron microscope, which gives a 3D image of the surface of an object by bouncing electron, electrons off of it. These images are really cool to look at. So we'll need microscope slides. Sometimes these slides are permanent or fixed. The specimens in these slides have all been preserved and often stained or dyed so that we can see certain parts of the cell better. In this slide, the chromosomes are, have been stained pink. Another type of slide is called a wet mount slide. Wet mount slides are made right when you need to use them. These often contain live specimens or freshly collected ones. Since we'll be using both types in class, you'll need to learn how to make a wet mount slide with ease. There are five steps to make a wet mount slide. The first step is to place a drop of water on the slide, then place the specimen on the drop of water, take a cover slip, touch the edge of the cover slip to the slide, and then make contact with the water drop. Carefully ease the cover slip on top of the water. Watch the following video clip showing how to make a wet mount slide. Pull some mounting medium into a pasture pipette and place a small drop on the slide. Next, carefully pick up the brains by holding the connectives and place it in the mounting medium on the slide. Now lower one side of the cover slip into the edge of the mounting medium and very gently and slowly lower it over the brain to minimize the bubbles in the solution. If there is excess mounting medium, wipe it off with a Kim wipe. Okay, now that you've watched the video, write down the five steps to making a wet mount slide, either in words or pictures, and bring that to class tomorrow so that we can practice making slides. See you then. Mm -hmm.